Alright guys, so uh, here is the <coughs> beginning of my Forest Goblins with the uh, Kings of War Mantic Fort Goblins that I have with uh, the spears, or the bows. Um, so they fit pretty well in the uh, tray that I bought um, for the skirmishing tray. Uh, this is them being all sprayed black, uh, setting them in there. Um, just a few random pictures uh, in different lengths and everything. So my overall idea was looking at this was uh, to kind of figure out where I was going to put the trees, um, where I was going to put the bushes, and how I was going to put on the ghillie suits. Um, obviously the photographing process. So, the, after putting the trees on and all the basing material, the horse, the bases, I'm guessing Mantic didn't really get the 20 mil bases down correctly because they fit in here. Some of them were, you know, fit well and the other ones were pretty snug. Um, so I bought these trees here from a craft store. Uh, and then chopped off the circular bases on them and glued them down uh, after putting them in, in place and then made sure that all my goblins fit there uh, properly. Again, some different angles uh, just to see how it looks. Um, now getting them on there wasn't difficult, it was just you know, using a knife or some plier uh, some cutters to cut off the bottom of them to pretty much all of the circular part because it wouldn't fit otherwise. Uh, and even doing them flat still wouldn't work. So some of these trees I had to take and pull off some of the bottom parts of it just so that it would um, allow the goblins to fit underneath it. Uh, and I used every single goblin in those spots to make sure they all fit underneath the trees. Uh, this one right here that you're seeing now, uh, the very one on the end is, uh, he still, every single goblin's head smacks that one, but it's fine. Uh, this stuff, I just used some modeling clay and put the modeling clay at the bottom of the trees to kind of cover up the rough edges, uh, and then I covered those in super glue uh, to speed up the drying time. Uh, then I started covering the entire thing in white glue. Um, this wasn't watered down white glue, this was straight white glue. Um, and I used a fine ballast from Woodland Scenics, and this is amazing stuff. Um, you know, it goes on in the correct color, so I don't have to paint it, I don't have to do anything to it, I just lay it down on top of the glue. Um, and I just use regular almost glue as you can see. I laid it down on top of there and then uh, just sprinkled some on it and it worked out perfectly. Um, up next, moving on to the models. Uh, so, four scotlands I had to, after putting in the ballast and putting all the flock down, I had to shave their bases so they would fit. And doing all 20 bases, finding the most snug one is really annoying, but it was worth it. Uh, this picture is just me showing you that I'm just covering all the bases in brown. Um, the paint scheme for these guys was not uh, going to be very good, uh, considering they're going to be covered in mostly flock, so you're really not going to see much besides their bow and a little bit of their skin, uh, and maybe their boots. Uh, this was just me doing the edges of the movement tray, and uh, you can see the lights a little dim. I'm doing this in my bedroom at my my work desk, so uh, the light is not that great and at like eight o'clock at night. Um, just showing the other parts of it. Uh, so far, it's coming along pretty well. I still have five miniatures I, I have to paint and flock finish it all up but as of right now it's 
working pretty well. Uh, this is one of the miniatures already finished. Uh, he's got, you know, as you can see, the glue is still drying um, around the edges and on his base. It was just a practice model to see what I was going to go for. Um, you know, the closer you get to these pictures, the paint is really not that good. I'm not going to, you know, boast at my painting skills. These guys are just a, a chaff unit, pretty much. Um, even though the unit itself, when coupled with my three heroes, uh, it comes out to around 300 some odd points. Um, so it's really just there to dish out, you know, some pretty good damage and then run away. Um, this I used just straight up grass, the grass flock, to throw onto their backs. Um, I you know, put it on top of their heads, on top of any clothing that was on the back, because the Mantic miniatures are really... I think they, they put a little bit too much detail into their molds, and that doesn't make their, their models look good. Um, I feel like if they put a little less detail into their molds, uh, they'd probably do a little bit better, and they'd come out a lot better. Um, but as far as, you know, obviously... GW and, and Avatars and um, some of the other well-known uh, guys have a lot more detail because they're working with much better molds. Um, nothing against Mantic, but they're, these models came out with a lot of mold lines and you know, getting the mold lines off itself is difficult. Um, so in this these next few pictures are just showing, well, this picture at least, is I just used the basic colors. I just used monster brown, uh, oak brown, and I used two tones of green to cover up, you know, the, 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 all the body, basically. Um, just that when I put the flock on the back, if it showed through, uh, which it doesn't, if it showed through, it would show through brown instead of black. Um, so after doing the first few models, I looked at them and there was no brown showing through, their, through the grass on their backs. So I just said, screw it, and I stopped painting them. Um, I stopped painting their backs at least, and their, their heads. And it just, it just ensured that I put a lot of glue on there and a lot of flock so that nothing would show through. So I really only painted their arms, their hands, the bow, the bracers, and the boots. Um, and then I, you know, threw on the, the fine ballast onto the, uh, onto the bases. So this is just a, a little bit of a closer up to, you know, just some of the moss that I bought to I kind of chopped that up into fine bits from, you know, with my exacto knife and put those on first because they're larger. I tossed those on first and then threw some grass over top of it and then just kind of pressed it down to make sure it was all secure. Um, now, the only reason, well, not the only reason, but these guys, as I said before, have too much detail, which looks really, I'm going to say it, terrible. Um, and this really takes away from that. So, they don't look like they have you know, they look like they have, you know, they're, they're well done, but if I didn't have any of the flock on their backs, it would look absolutely terrible. It's like somebody took a pitchfork and just started scratching at the back sideways. Um, so, I mean, the faces I can deal with, the hands and arms I can deal with, uh, the bows I can deal with, but if the, the whole back and the chest is not something that, that I would consider uh, top quality. Then again, these were only like 15, 20 bucks for 20 of them. So, quality reflects the price. Um, this is just me speed painting through um, six guys, just showing you the, the close up to you know, kind of what process I'm going through. I mean, their pictures are all kind of random, um, but overall, the basis is exactly the same, doing just the, the two types of browns and the two types of green. Uh, but the end result is very nice.
And again, I apologize for the pictures. They're not that great. Um, but this is probably over the course of the last uh, two weeks that I've been taking pictures. And finalized. Uh, this is the first ten, I believe, the front row. Um, I had already completed the other five that went in the back before. I still have five more to do. Um, but this is it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.